multiple is 50 multiplied by 3.42 currently. So you get your 50 and you multiply by 3.42. Okay. And what the total is, got a bit of a temp marks here. You got 171 total. Is that okay? 171 total. Now, the deal is, I don't know what way those 50 are broken up. Do you get what I'm saying? But it does mention that they're consecutive numbers, doesn't it? So, for argument's sake, imagine the two answers were three and four. Well, that's not great. That's not good, folks. So, imagine for argument's sake that the answer was three and four. So, that three was originally... Sorry, there's 12. It's later found that the three is 12 and nine are two consecutive numbers have been swapped. So, imagine that's 12 and that's nine. Can we see that? 12 and 9, yeah? And what would be the answer if I was to multiply that out? That would be 36 plus, what is it? Another 36, which would be 72. What happens if I swap them around? So it's 3 and 9 and now 4 and 4 and 12. What happened then? Was it 27 and? And what is 27 and 48? 75. Extra 75, yeah? Imagine it wasn't 3 and 4. It was 5 and 6. Would it just be an extra 3 at the end of the day? Is it just an extra 3 no matter which, which two consecutive numbers we're talking about? Somebody like me would need to work that out like this. And I'm going, uh, 5 and 12 means five, 5 happens 12 times and 6 happens. What's it, 9 times? And what do we get? Uh, 60 and... 54, which is 114. And then if I switch those numbers around, well, it'll be 5 and 9 and 6 and 12. And that'll actually come out as 100 and 70. So no matter which two consecutive numbers it is, it always results in an extra 3. So I'm just going to add 3 onto 171, and I'm going to get 170. Four. Then I'm going to divide 174 by, uh, what's it? How many numbers was there? 50. What's 174 divided by 50? 3.48. And it's done. He also mentioned, how do you know it's not 3 less? So what cons the, my interpretation of it is that consecutive numbers always means the smaller number in head of the bigger number. So consecutive scores could be 3 and 4. And the fact that the 12 comes in head of the 9 would mean... 12 for the smaller score and 9 for the bigger score. However, I would imagine they could give you full marks on the other interpretation of that. Does that make sense? Okay.